Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Boomi World 2018. Brought to you by Dell Boomi. Welcome back to theCUBE, I'm Lisa Martin. Live at Boomi World 2018 at the Encore in Las Vegas. Been here all day, had a lot of great chats. We're excited to welcome to theCUBE for the first time a couple of gents from Hathority, an implementation partner of Dell Boomi. Philip Burnick, PhD in Principal and Human-Centered Technologist. Yes. AKA Technology Wonk. I go by both. It does say yes. on your card, yes. I think yes. that's fantastic. And Vishwan Anam, MBA and Principal Technology Architect at Hathority. Guys, welcome to theCUBE. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for having me. So, Hathority has been an implementation partner with Dell Boomi for several years now. Congratulations yesterday on winning the Innovation Partner of the Year. Philip, you had an opportunity to talk yesterday at the Partner Summit with CTO Michael Morton. Talk to us a little bit about that and about this Innovation Partner of the Year award. That's a big title. It is, and we're really excited to be able to do really interesting things with Boomi. It's more than just an integration platform. It really lets us do a lot of things with devices IOT has come into the mainstream because now we have infrastructure that will support it. Um, it's a lot of data, it needs a big fat pipe, we need gigabit networks in order to move it all around to get it to the people who need to make decisions or to get it to systems who are making decisions for us. And uh, the Dell Boomi Atom lets us do that and we've got it running on little tiny devices like Raspberry Pis and we can put it on other edge devices and routers so we've done some microservices for cities that are interested in improving their smartness. So Excellent. yeah, we're excited. Vishwam, tell us about, for, for those of our viewers who haven't heard of Authority, tell us a, bit, a little bit about what you guys do, who you are, where you're located. Sure, so we are a data integration company so we work with Dell Boomi in uh, automating a lot of the data integration uh, practices. So a lot of our customers, they are in uh, all across uh, the world and uh, they serve in a different verticals. So such as like you know, airlines and healthcare, uh, smart cities, and uh, some are like, you know, they are in the gaming industry. So what we are doing is we are automating all of their uh, workflows and uh, uh, connecting all of their systems in one place. So that's where we are leveraging. So we are based in uh, greater Phoenix area. So, and uh, our employees are uh, somewhere here in US, somewhere in India, somewhere in uh, UK. So based on wherever the customer needs are, like you know, within uh, Dell Boomi. So our, uh, our, our uh, consultants would work there. So we are about 35 in strength so far our company. So, about three or four years you've been in business. Dell Boomi, a number of things that came out this morning, I always love to hear numbers and statistics during the general session, um, and Chris McNabb, CEO, talked about they're adding five new customers every single day. Uh, they also were, and I was reading this over the weekend, fifth year in a row, strong leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for, for iPads, but they've come out today and said, we are redefining the I in iPads. This is more than integration. It's more than integrating applications. You've got to integrate data, news sources, existing sources. You've got to integrate people and processes and, and trading networks. With this new reimagination of the eye to be intelligent, Philip, I'm curious, what does that signify to you about your partnership with Dell Boomi and what opportunities are you excited that this is going to open up for you? Well, it says to me that they're excited about the same th kinds of things we're excited about. So one of the things that we demonstrated, we have customers who are interested in lots of different technologies. Uh, yesterday they talked about, three years ago, IoT was the eye roll, right? Don't get a headache. This year it's blockchain. Um, but one of the demos that we've brought to Boomi World is a demo where we actually used Dell Boomi to integrate with Hyperledger, a blockchain application. and. On top of that, we used Flow to produce the front end, and so we can integrate across a variety of platforms, and now we've integrated into the blockchain, and our customers want these kinds of things. The blockchain is interesting because it's immutable, it's auditable, and it's validated by all of the participants in a particular set of nodes in the blockchain. So, uh, you know, it's it's an exciting technology. It's exciting because, not because of the tokenization, things like Bitcoin, but because it's a database that we can share, a ledger that we can share. Yeah, because one of the challenges that a lot of uh, customers run into is uh, 
managing the data integrity. Like, you know, when, the, when somebody sends the data, how reliable it is and whether there, is there any place in the middle that somebody is manipulating the data. So those are the challenges that blockchain would solve in guaranteeing the data delivery and uh, quality of it. So those are kind of I that he was mentioning in, uh, you know, as part of integration, innovation, and uh, more of a, you know, new thoughts in building the transformation. We're really transforming. So data transformation in the digital world, you know, these days. So, so blockchain, I, I often hear companies that might be integration companies that talk a lot about blockchain, and I kind of sit back and go, I don't understand what your story is there. Talk to us about, because it, it's a, you know, crypto, blockchain, huge right. buzzword. <clears throat> so Talk to us exactly about what you guys do and what Del Boomi is doing. I, I think they announced support for yeah, Hyper Ledger Fabric as well as Ethereum, but right. help unpack that sort of myth around blockchain sure. and what so integration's role is in it. A lot of the confusion around blockchain comes from things like Bitcoin. So the interesting thing about Bitcoin is it was the first blockchain. And it's built around this idea of a token, the Bitcoin, right? And so what this ledger is keeping track of are these Bitcoin. But you can keep track of any sort of data on a blockchain. You can contribute data of any sort to a, not the Bitcoin blockchain, but Ethereum, for example. We can uh, include software, we can include other sorts of data. You could include a healthcare record that is your healthcare record that you share only with individuals with whom you share part of your private key, right? But you own it, and it's yours, and it's always yours, and you control it. Um, but it's validated by all of the people who are participating in producing that blockchain. So it's decentralized, um, but it's immutable, and it's auditable, so it, 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 it guarantees integrity, because unless all of the participants agree that it, a transaction took place, it didn't. So we, we ensure data integrity through the blockchain. That's the interesting thing about it for us. And that's a major part of integration companies because you know, a lot of the technologies that we hear yesterday, Solace is one of the messaging queuing system. So that they present, it's like you know, guaranteeing the delivery at the same time, you know, reliable message uh, transmission, streaming the data and uh, it's faster, reliable and uh, managing the full Here's data. Here's a great use case. Today is voting day. Many polling places no longer have paper ballots. So you cast your vote, but you have no way to actually see the vote that you've cast. If it were on a blockchain, you could inspect your vote, but nobody else could know how you voted. But you could ensure the fact that your vote was entered into the blockchain and counted in the way that you wanted it to be. That's a great example and, and relatable, so thanks for sharing that. So guys, Dell Boomi has, I think they said this morning, Chris McNabb, over 350 partners. You guys are one of them. They have a broad ecosystem, embedded partners, implementation, GSIs. Talk to us about your partnership and how, as Boomi says, we want to be the transformation partner. And it, it is all about transformation, right? right? Uh, especially in the enterprise that wasn't born in the cloud, can't survive right. without, as the customer expectation drives, I want to be able to buy something from your physical store, maybe a department partner store, online, Amazon, Zappos, whatnot, and I expect as a customer to have a, a seamless experience. That's hard to do for a company that's maybe even 20 or 30 years old. Sure. To transform, I, and I'm thinking of omni-channel retailers as, as the example. How is your integration, pun intended, with Dale Boomi, really helping customers to transform their digital, IT, security, workforce? Walk us through what that opportunity to transform. You know, the, the relationship between Del Boomi and its partners is really synergistic. I mean, they provide a lot of support. There's really excellent training, there's excellent communication, there's uh, marketing support. Uh, we share on projects in a variety of ways. Um, we do jump starts, yeah. so we help teach people how to use Boomi. Um, in addition to helping uh, Boomi uh, folks teaching us how to use the new tools, um, there's a great community for providing feedback, right. for getting resources if there's something that we need to do that we don't know how to do. There's this huge community that shares. We all share connectors, right? If we're building an integration, 
and a connector doesn't exist and we create a new connector, not the configuration of the connector, but the connector itself, we share it. So that collaborative approach to doing business is really important to us. Right. And it, it, it reflects our company's ethos as we hope it also reflects. Yeah. So we've been ethos. working in uh, Bumi since 2012. So over the years, like you know, even though like, you know, we are uh, certified partners since 2015, but you know, we have been contributing to Bumi in various uh, channels, like you know, either the support or like you know, with the community channel and uh, contributing to their release planning as well. Like you know, these are the, because we are the first line of defense from the customers, like you know, we know what the customers are expecting. So say if they got a sale Salesforce to implement it. So we as a system integrator, we come in and see what are the data points with the Salesforce and uh, say like you know, user data that they want to build the contacts in there or any uh, activities or sales data. So there are multiple systems that are feeding into Salesforce in this case. So we are the ones like you know, who are contributing to Dell Boomi. Okay, these are the features that we could consider. So because uh, Salesforce evolved in just like Boomi, they, they launched different uh, versions as well. So as in Boomi, there is a different connector for Salesforce and Service Cloud and multiple uh, layers in that. So those are the unique uh, cases that we are contributing to Dell and uh, obviously they're, uh, I mean, they take the feedback, so from uh, partners like us, very seriously and then they work towards delivering this, like you know, with the release planning as such. So one uh, use case that we are working with uh, some of our customers, you know, where uh, we have been asking Dell to build that, like, you know, and they, they were able to deliver it. These are like, you know, they want some reporting out of it. So mainly like, you know, so you transmit the data to one system to other, and they wanted to see like, you know, okay, how the data, which system was the uh, source and which system was the destination and how this data was transmitted. So Boomi gave the real-time visibility into those. So those are, uh, you know, some kind of partnering opportunities, like you know, all the way from a customer to the product. So we are happy to be in the middle and, uh, you know, contributing our part of it, so. That's one of the things that I've heard a lot today is that Boomi is listening. One of the great ex examples of that on stage this morning was Chris McNair talking about the Dell Boomi employee onboarding solution, that they actually did an internal survey earlier this year and found, whoa, this is really not an optimal process. And in, in implementing an onboarding solution to make that more streamlined to obviously, you know, you hire someone who's brilliant, you want to be able to get them up and running and innovating as fast as possible. I like that they shared um, the feedback that they got from their own employees and created a solution that they're now being able to deliver to the market. Well, they're and there listening. was another piece to that that was really interesting, which is that they utilized their partner network in order to build the solution, right? They didn't build all of it in-house. You're right, right, we did talk about they that. They reach out and partners, they work with partners in a variety of ways and we really, really appreciate that. Yeah, that listening, that synergy that you both talked about was, was really apparent. So when we look at certain business initiatives like uh, onboarding or customer 360 or e-commerce, any favorite joint customer example that you've helped to integrate that has approached one of those daunting business initiatives and worked with <laughs> with authority and you're laughing right. and don't right. move me to really transform. Well, they're all uh, they're all like that. Very really interesting, yeah. So do you want to talk about no. any or? Well, Give me one of your favorite examples. Yeah. Share, uh, well, share Left Schwab. Okay, so with some of our customers, like and especially on the inter enterprise scale, so there are a lot of systems that are at stake for them because you know they want to have the digital transformation journey. So the major one where uh, Dell Boomi contributes to is connecting all of these systems, giving them the visibility. So with uh, you know not only the point-to-point -point integrations, they also provide the real-time integration capability. So where like you know with this case, so where the customer go into a retail store and they say they want to uh, do something at the point of sale transaction, like if they want to purchase something. So there, any of the credit card transactions, I mean, those need to be quick. I mean, we cannot wait for 10 minutes to get the data through. So that's where, like, you know, Dell Boomi is uh, scalable and it's robust in the sense that, you know, the response time is pretty quick. So it's all real-time basis. So a lot of these cases, like, you know, with the Boomi that we are able to leverage, like, you know, on the integration side, API side, and now with the MDH, which is the master data hub, a new Product uh, from them, like you know, since last two years, we have been working with our customers in implementing uh, a master data hub, and as well as uh, uh, many who, which is the De Del Boomi Flow, which is amazing 
some of our customers, like you know, with the API, it's like you know, you see the data, but with the flow, you you can visualize, like you know, these are the exact uh, UI that you are seeing, how your data is getting entered on the back end, and then you can try it out. So because uh, these enterprise customers, like you know, especially on the business side, if they are working with something, so they want to try it out, but you know, they don't want to learn, uh, you know, programming to do that. So that's where like you know, flow will uh, is already helping. We are already seeing the value of it with our customers. We've heard a little bit about that today as well, flow in, in terms of the automation, but also how that would, will enable customers. There was a, a cute little video on their website that I saw recently, when, which showed an example of flow. Somebody bangs their car into a tree, gets out, ah, and takes a photograph of the incident, uploads it to their insurance carrier app, who then actually initiates the entire claims process. Mm -hmm. And that was to me a, a, a clear example of they have, you have to go where the data is. Michael Dell says frequently, there's a big boom at the edge, but if I'm in that scenario as a customer, I want to know that, I don't care what's on the back end, I want to be able to get this initiated quickly. And I thought that was a, a nice kind of example of how they're able to abstract that mm -hmm. so that the customer experience can be superior than the competition. Exactly. exactly. So that's where like, you know, Boomi has a, a something called runtime engine, which is scalable. Like, you, know, you could install like, you know, on a, a smaller device, like you know, Raspberry Pi, which is like, you know, just a mini computer. So, or you could install on the big servers itself. So this is a scalable. So where this allows, as Michael Dell was mentioning, like, you know, the edge computing. So you could install on a gateway which sits you know, on the on a tree, uh, on the tree, <laughs> or anywhere. <laughs> so it's like you, know, you don't have to send all the data to cloud for processing. So it's an amazing leap into the next uh, distribution computing because. Um, the, as you mentioned, like the fast of fastness of response time, you know, so you don't have to wait for the cloud to respond. So all the computations and data aggregations are happening within the edge network itself. So, and we are already seeing, we have implemented the same solution. So, which was uh, one of the reasons why we are, we are the winner at the uh, Innovation, Innovation Partner, Partner of the Award. Year. Right. Well, congratulations so, again for that, gentlemen. Yeah, thank thank, you. thank you. you so much for stopping by and thank sharing you. with our viewers a little bit about Hathority and what you guys are, how you're really symbiotically innovating with Dell Boomi. Philip Vishwam, thanks so much for your time today. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for Lisa. having yeah, us. Thank you for having My us. My pleasure. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin, live from Boomi World. 2018 in Las Vegas. Stick around. I'll be back with John Furrier and our next guest after a short break.